But yeah, Games Workshop, yes, the Warhammer people had a hand in this. Okay, here's the intro. It'll explain the setting. Does nukes. There is always another enemy. In the 1950s, it was the Russians. Us and them locked in the Cold War. But in 1961, it was against our own people. The rock and roll riots hit. Youth culture clashed with authorities over new music and the movement sweeping across the country that came it's with it. It's basically an alternate history. During the civil unrest of those times, many of rock and roll's upcoming stars were killed in violent protests during concerts. The 60s would bring isolation and stagnation. Nixon beat Kennedy for the White House and immediately set out his agenda. Ask not what's in it for you, ask what's in it for the U.S. We withdrew from the world stage. Vietnam descended into civil war. Russia intervened, but as the scale of the war grew, its popularity fell. The USSR saw peace movements and embraced social change. Basically, they did what we did. Back home in the U.S. Sort of A, business and industry grew unfettered. Corporations became more influential than government. Pollution increased rapidly. The climate began to change. And those fat off the profits of oil and industry denied anything was wrong. Well, that happened in this timeline, too. And, famine, and not long after came corruption and rampant inequality. That also that happened in this timeline. Tension, gang cults formed, becoming more daring and violent as authorities attempted to stop them, making broken cities in the vast big empty their home. So it's, uh, from what I understand, I think this was actually a tabletop game back in the day. And if that's the case, i got to track down a copy because... rapidly eclipsed official law enforcement agencies. Sounds awesome. This is the dog-eat-dog world we live in today. Basically, it's Mad Max in the U.S. And the hired guns. And the corporations that... Well, Mad Max meets Death Race in the U.S. Slice of Judge Dredd. North America. 2025. And yeah, so shout out to Arc Digital for actually hooking me up with the key for this uh, by key mailer. Uh, looked interesting. Yeah, it's a little more strategic than action based because, again, Games Workshop, but we're going to start a new season. Okay, we got a tutorial. Brain in a jar. Introductory run. Like, unlike on other characters, the brain in a jar does not suffer permadeath when their car is destroyed. It also has extra core health. So I guess the different characters have different uh, vehicles and stats and stuff. Alright, brain in a jar. We don't have any upgrades for this yet, it looks like. Can't buy any perks, so everything's locked. You know what else we're going to learn? What we're going to do? Car variant. It looks like, I like that the car looks like a much heav more heavily armed Mach 5, kinda. Yes, this is my first time. I, lo I love these menus, like, the, gra the graphics are really sweet, you got the whole... Okay, virtual environment which you can test your vehicle risk-free, try it now. Basics! This tutorial will show you the basics of interacting with the missions you will t undertake as a sanctioned operative. Pressing the next and previous buttons will allow you to show you the next pre Yeah, okay, I know how the next and previous work. We will need to reposition the camera. Okay. You can do it on the D-pad, too. I might actually use this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Mouse is probably better. Car selection. Multiple cars sometimes. So, click the switch. Oh, that's cool. I like this. The teamwork. Tab? Okay. My free tab. You go over you. you. Oh, he went away. Okay. A quick breakdown of car stats. Health is the red car. Brain is its... Injured. Got it. Okay. Two bars are armor. Okay, that makes sense. Armor repaired between mission. Four health repaired during. Got it. Um, fun weapon. 
rear weapon, or front, front turret, rear speed. Okay, okay, this makes sense so far. Enter command mode. Okay, that's how you get hands on. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Spacebar, got it. Issue orders while in command mode while clicking on the various buttons around the screen. When an order is issued, does not execute immediately. Queued up to be executed with all other orders all at once. Okay. Give me an example. Executive error. Okay, you queue them, then you hit execute. Got it. This is basically, I guess, like stacking cards if you were playing this ta uh, on top of a table. Is there a hotkey for that? E, okay. Oh, okay. Up in, uh, okay, Waz, you, you can turn. It's just, it's on Waz. Your W and S set your, like, throttle options. Okay, well, okay, movement seems to fly right away. Cool. I see. Oh, if you're in orders mode, you can, like, queue a bunch of stuff. Oh, okay, that's cool. Hot keys. Cool. Fast forward. Okay. Easy drive. So easy drive does the basics. Set speeds. Yeah, WS. One lane per turn bump. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. And your highway system. Okay, so you can't go outside the highway. You all you can, but not for long. Got it. That's kind of that's kind of cool. That I don't know. It's cool, or weird, but I, I like this distance rule. That's interesting. Your friends can't get too close. You can pay for recovery. Got it. Weapons. All right, so look at the topmost weapon block. Cool. Front twin link weapons, high damage, limited field of fire, 360 degree turrets, and then like yeah, concussion mines, cooldowns, turret lock on. Okay, lock on button next. Okay. have a target. This is neat. Okay. Try this now. I love watching the, the mines drop in slow-mo. That's cool. Okay. Oh, I see. Strong versus armor, balance, strong versus core. So it's uh, it's it's a little bit of rock, paper, scissors. That's kind of cool. Or like rock, scissors, rock, scissors. Uh, your car's feature attack, warning system. To avoid. Okay, so you can drive to avoid attack arrows. Got it. I didn't need it, but cool. Or repair. Probably can't do all the repairs at once. Got it. Boost and break. That's cool.
That's no, match speed, I'm sorry. That's for a quicker stop than just using the reverse key, okay. Oh, shit. Warm up, okay. The car you want to actually control. Okay. No. Okay. We kind of figured it out. So let's try at least get through one mission, maybe. Is this through? It's coming through okay? Fantastic. Well, there's good news and there's bad news, Speed Racer. Bad news is that you burned to death after your explosion ripped through your vehicle. You were caught in the middle of a called Turf War. Who? Whoops. Almost lost you there. Do you recall this Gentech mind reader won't be able to work? Extra brain with the computer. The reason we can have this conversation that we want at maximum efficiency. Oh, related to that? Some more bad news. How do I put this delicately? Uh, your brain. In a jar. Slight change of body chemistry, detective. A couple of cc's of more finetta should keep you nicely balanced. Balanced chemically. Physically, you're balanced on three books. In char. Uh, the brain interface computer means that every action can be done remotely using sophisticated bioelectrics or failing that. The equipment I have hooked you up to here. So you might feel as if you're living in a nightmarish unreality where death is your only escape, but what's going on with this? Right, but you can do a bunch of stuff you used to in your previous life. Now, I know the fact that I found you in, in an interceptor makes me think you had worked at a sanction operative. The highway warriors see you talking, see you taking out gang cults on ZBC's, uh, the highway warriors you see taking out Z gang cults on ZBC's nightly news. Though you're a little more than a, a little more than a human brain with wires sticking out of it, you can still command your car, move the highways you're battling on, interact with a terminal like this one, and communicate with others. You can't touch anything. Oh, yes, the good news. Ooh. <sighs> You guys are able to do whatever they used to as a sanctioned op. You've been determined fit for work by the U.S. government con internet. Or additional bad news. This does mean that legally the state is, now is no longer responsible for your well-being and you have to support yourself. But for a plucky person like you, that's no problem, right? Huh. There's the body, body chemistry change again. Well, let's make some money. Just take a mission, hit the road, and reap a reward. Reap rewards. Alright, well, we have an ongoing fuel shortage in the big empty. As you complete missions, the cost of fuel will gradually escalate. Your goal is to complete the year objectives before the price of fuel becomes too high to afford. Failure to do so can lead you stranded without fuel, ending your run. Okay. Uh, yes. I would like a full explanation. Messages show you messages. Got it. Stealing the, uh... Objectives. That's the thing we just read. Cool. Uh, weapon tier... Item type. Type engine at the bottom. So everything's rear wheel drive. Or mid rear engine, whatever. Uh, weight capacity. Upgrade to the engine increased capacity. Got it. How much fuel you have? You're on a gas screw. So. Armor coverage. Uh, oh, okay, the hired ops are the other characters. Okay, it's it's your buddy. Cool. Uh, missions. Mission screen allows you to launch a mission. Difficulty rating, so we want we're gonna want a one skull. Uh, shop. You buy things, I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, and you can sell things, too. Cool. Oh, it gives you the price of what you have in the car. Cool. Alright, this is it's, it's fairly straightforward, honestly. How 
much money do I have? I have 30k. So, I think we're just going to go with what we got here. Oh, what's corporate do? Oh, reputation. Okay. Cool. And you unlock goodies for it. Okay. Got it. Kind of skimmed. Okay, here we go. A little customization. We can make the car purple. Game of the year. Darken it. Okay, a uh, number plate. Sweet, we're good. Go for the gold here. There we go. Cool. Well, that's neat. And really, I, I like this really simple. They just use the color wheel. Okay, uh, so we're going to do some missions, or a mission. We have an intercept mission. We did the tutorial. Oh, I see it's like a completely different area. Okay. Find and destroy the gang cult bosses. We're going to do a terrible job of this, but we will try. I'm kind of curious how this works in tabletop, though. Like, I guess you take turns doing missions? Okay, so the kill still boss appears feels very, um, mega race. I'm gonna put the spurs to it. Okay, that looks like a target. I want to fire that. Up speed. Got him. I mean, the ramming was probably not the best idea, but it looked cool, so whatever. This is neat. Oh no. Command mode. I'll be firing this a little more actively, but... Grab the, the match speed thing, too. Oh.
So yeah, definitely not great at this, but... Speed lock onto him. Speed on this bad boy. Right, so we still got, we don't have much rear armor, but we definitely have front armor. I, I think we filled the kill bar. Probably just gonna do one mission, this is a little time consuming. That looks like a boss to me. I'm not doing so good. Yeah, we got blowed up. We get the gist. That's kind of neat. At least the recovery was free. Basically, it's, yeah, it's one fuel per mission. That's kind of cool. Oh, they've got contact. They've got in worldy like. Flavor EVL, EVL is great. Will you let communists take away your guns? A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right to a people to keep bare arms shall not be infringed. Where would we be today with the words of the, of the, from the Constitution have been omitted? I could possibly feel called. Sorry, I'm trying to like do a light Alex Jones and not having him. How could you possibly feel called? Strolling down the sidewalk, strolling like God knows who, without a firearm to hand. Would you be able to venture Sandside with all its dangers and hazards in any way whatsoever without a weapon in the glove box for safety? It would be ridiculous to suggest that we should restrict the freedoms of the five citizens of this great nation by limiting their access to guns and the right to carry them at all times. <coughs> well, imagine my shock when I learn that a learn that a group on the loony left has been sending spam emails advocating control of guns across the state. Pack of what seem to be to be radical communists go by the name of Voice for Utah and make wild claims about gun violence that completely contradict the years of thorough research performed by the specialists from the various weapons divisions at the major corporations. Well, I've got a message for these extremist whack jobs. If you don't like guns, if you don't like freedom, if you don't like the American way, you can just pack up your disco cigarettes and your communist manifestos and you go back to where you came from. Remind of Jeff Jail Minds Jones. Oh, it is basically Alex Jones. Publishing Jail Jones, a regular column here on Jail Minds. Publication by Free Speech PLC, the division of ZBC News. So it's from the corporate news anyway. Nobody didn't wake anybody up with that rant. But yeah, that's good. good. Kind of hilarious. 
Okay, well, um, yeah, you get the, the gist. I need to learn how to get good at Dark Future, but, like, I feel like some more time in the tutorial, just figuring out timing and whatnot would be good, but it's a cool idea. I do like that. So, again, okay, thanks for the key, guys. And, uh, can we watch some credits? Yeah. Also, uh, shout-outs, uh, the one thing I really love is they have um, different color settings for different, uh, <laughs> for Pink Madness. Uh, for, yeah, for different uh, levels of um, color blindness. So that's really cool. Like, shout-outs to accessibility, always good, always good. I'll be giving the thumbs up. And um, I kind of love the idea of Pink Madness. I wonder if there's an achievement for that. All right, yeah, but this is one I want to sit down, trying to get my head around, and uh, also, yeah, car customization. Simple but quick, and I like that.